How you doing everybody? What's up? In this Flash CS 5.5 Android app developer lesson, we're going to teach you how to program orientation into your apps for a more professionally functional app. Now let me show you what I mean. Here's a simple test app that I created in Flash. Orientation is when the user takes their phone and they turn it like that. You can see what happens is my app gets all skinny right in the middle of the phone and that's not cool and that's not professional. You'll see that most apps when you turn your phone like that they auto adjust their width to be 100% of the width of the screen. So, so I'll show you how to program orientation into your Flash CS 5.5 apps using ActionScript 3. That way when the user turns their phone like this your app will stretch the entire width of the phone. It'll fit in there perfectly. That's what I'll show you how to do now. So let's get to it. Okay, here I am in Flash CS 5.5 working with Air for Android and ActionScript 3. And here's a little test application that I have going, which you can see is just a movie clip. And I have it instance named My App. And inside of that movie clip is nothing but static text and a box sitting on layer 1. So that's all there is in my file so far. And that's why no orientation occurred, because I didn't program it in. Now what happens is when a user has their phone, the normal tall view, everything is just fine because the size of your stage is 480 wide by 800 high. Now when the user turns their phone the other way, they're viewing wide. So they have 800 wide and 480 high. Those numbers swap. So let's double click inside of this movie clip we have here. Let's create a new keyframe here on frame 2 by pressing F6. That puts the same elements again on the next keyframe. And here I'm going to select the box. I'm going to go up to Modify, Transform, Rotate Counterclockwise 90 degrees. I'm going to drag it back up into position 0. And this text for my wide view, I want to get that bigger. Okay, so I simply just made my text bigger. You can make this box as tall as you want and it will fit within the user's wide view and they'll have scroll up and down abilities with their finger. All they have to do is drag and they can scroll up and down your app. But This way your app doesn't have to lose a lot of proportion or anything. It'll look exactly the same. It'll just be bigger turned to the side in the wide view. Okay, now let's add another layer. In this layer we're going to name labels. Let's add another layer above that one and let's name that AS3 for ActionScript 3. Let's make a keyframe by pressing F6 on the ActionScript 3 layer. Another keyframe on frame 2 on the labels layer by pressing F6. And this one you can put, you can just name that app. So the label name over here in the properties panel, the label name for this first one is going to be tall view. T-A-L-L -L underscore view. The label on this keyframe is going to be wide view. Wide underscore view. Now here we're going to put stop commands up top. So we press F9 to open our actions panel and we'll type in stop commands. There, so that's everything we need inside of that movie clip. Now let's double click here on the side or you can click scene 1 here to go back into the main scene. Now in the main scene we're just going to simply add a new layer. We're going to call this orientation code. I'm going to highlight that keyframe and we're going to pop in our orientation script. And I'll explain it for you guys that are new to ActionScript 3. First we import the necessary things for allowing us to work with scaling the stage and the events that are connected to stage scaling. That's what those four lines are doing. And here we're going to create a new stage object, calling it App Stage. And that's equal to My App Movie Clip, which is this movie clip here on stage. Dot stage. Then we use App Stage Object to signify scale mode and alignment for the stage. And the stage scale mode is no scale because we don't want any scaling to occur. And the alignment is stage align dot top left because we always want our app to be top left position. Now the rest of this is pretty basic function and event listening here. So before I explain the function to you, let me explain this listener. We've added to the app stage object an event listener for resize. So the event is resize. 
and the function that we want to fire off when the resize occurs is called orientate my app and that function is sitting right here so function orientate my app is sitting right there so each time the user turns their phone either way to view it tall or wide this event resize will fire off making the code inside of this function execute and in this code we create a new variable actually two new variables one for the device width and one for the device height which is equal which is integer type variables that are equal to the app stage dot stage width and the app stage dot stage height so you can gather what those numbers are and put them into variables here that's all we've done and then the rest of this function is an if else condition statement here which says if the device width is greater than the device height which means if they're viewing their phone in the wide view and not the tall normal view then we say my app dot go to and stop the wide view label that we put inside that movie clip so you just go into the movie clip here where we put the wide view and you're directing it through code to navigate to this keyframe here instead else if the device happens to be flipped the other way and they look at it tall view again it's going to go to and stop the tall view which is the default and that's pretty much all there is to it now I'll throw some code comments here for you guys and I'll make sure I have this code available at developphp.com right underneath where the video is playing that way you guys can copy and paste this code in case you can't see it in the video here completely or you have some syntax error it's not exactly like mine you can get my exact code and now I'm gonna load it up onto my phone I'll publish this file out like I showed you guys how to do in the last video and test on the phone that way you can see the app when I turn it it'll go into wide view when I turn it back it'll go back into tall view alright now let me open that test application now that I have reinstalled it and you can see it says simple test app on top now let me rotate my phone ta-da there you go app orientation and like I told you when they turn the phone like this all you gotta do is make sure you make version 2 nice and long that way you have all your apps information still in this same format but it's nice and long this way that way the user can use their finger to drag up and down and that's how it works folks so we'll see you in the next lesson